One of the most difficult things in electric circuits is determining whether resistors are in series or resistors are in parallel. I always see people make this mistake. Sometimes resistors are in series and people say that they're in parallel or vice versa. So in this video, I want to show you a way you can use to determine whether resistors are in series or they're in parallel, right? Uh, I have a few electric circuits here, I think around four or five. So make sure you watch the video until the end so that uh, you can see what I'm talking about. So let's look at this uh, electric circuit on the right hand side, right? Uh, you can see here that we have a power source of 12 volts and then we have one resistor uh, of 2 ohms, right? Uh, clearly, this resistor of 2 ohm is in series. Would you agree? But then the question is, why are we saying that this resistor is in series? I'm sure 99% of the people would definitely say that this resistor is in series. But the question is, why are we saying that it is in series? So we need to find a definition for a resistor in series so that we can base everything we're saying on a definition, right? So let's define what we mean when we say a resistor is in series. So as you can see now, I've written a definition for a resistor in series. When we say a resistor is in series, the resistor experiences total current right uh, because from our power source here uh, we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal and then uh, the current will flow anti-clockwise in this instance right from positive to negative so there goes our current uh, it's flowing and clearly on the two ohm resistor there's no current splitting right so the two ohm resistor experiences i total and then as a result we're saying that it is in series relative to the circuit right so keep that definition in mind every time when a resistor experiences total current it is in series let me add another resistor in the circuit so that we can have more clarity so now let's come back to our circuit you can see that i've added uh, this 3 ohm resistor here right so the question now i'm asking is this 3 ohm resistor in series or in parallel let's stick to the definition the definition says that if a resistor is in series the resistor experiences total current clearly the 3 ohm resistor is going to experience total current because there is no current splitting. So that 3 ohm resistor is in series relative to the circuit. Sticking to the definition, right? We're not guessing anything. We're not making an assumption. We are sticking to the definition. If a resistor experiences total current, then it is in series. Okay, as you can see here, I've added a 4 ohm resistor, right? Uh, the question is still the same. Is the resistor in series or in parallel? If we stick to the definition, there is no current that is splitting. So that 4 ohm resistor should be in series. And indeed it is. The 4 ohm resistor is in series. But then this is where I lose a lot of people. So let's look at the 2 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor, right? Look at them. Is the 2 ohm resistor in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor? The 2 ohm resistor is not in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor. They are all in series because they are experiencing total current, right? In physics, we don't talk about parallel the same way we do in math, right? Because in math, when things are parallel, they are visually in parallel, right? But then in physics, you can see that this 2 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor, they look visually in parallel to each other. But then in electric circuits, we're not talking about visually. We're talking about the current. Are they receiving total current or not? The 2 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor are receiving total current. So they are in series relative to the circuit. They are not in parallel. So you can see that I've added the 5 ohm resistor, right? Uh, now the first question uh, we should ask ourselves uh, is the 5 ohm resistor in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor? right uh, again a lot of people would say that they're not in parallel to each other because 
they don't look parallel to each other but then in physics we're not talking about how they look we're talking about the current right the 5 ohm resistor is indeed parallel to the 2 ohm resistor why are we saying so because as the current is flowing uh from the positive to the negative right uh when it reaches this point here the current is going to split a proportion of the current uh, is going to go down this path and then another proportion of the current will go down this path right so that means that the 2 ohm resistor is now parallel to the 5 ohm resistor right uh, because they're not experiencing total current uh, is the 5 ohm resistor in parallel with the 3 ohm resistor yes the 5 ohm resistor are in parallel with the 3 ohm resistor they're not experiencing total current again the 5 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor because they're not experiencing total current but let's look at the 2 ohm resistor the 3 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor right uh, those resistors on that path are they parallel to each other or are they series to each other so that's where it gets a bit confusing that the 2 ohm and the 3 ohm and the 4 ohm resistor they're in series relative to each other what do i mean when i say they're in series relative to each other and not relative to the circuit i mean that uh we know fully well that rp uh is equals to uh, 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 so if we want to calculate uh the resistance in parallel for this circuit i would say 1 divided by rp is equals to 1 divided by uh, the 5 ohm resistor right plus 1 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 4 the total resistance on that part so what i do uh, when i teach this session i actually say that instead of 1 divided by r1 let's say 1 divided by rp is equals to 1 divided by the resistance on path 1 plus 1 divided by the resistance on path 2 right uh, because here you can see that on this path on this path uh we add in the total resistance right we're seeing two plus three plus four and then uh here it is right uh, because most people would say uh one divided by five plus one divided by two plus one divided by three plus one divided by four which is totally wrong right it's one divided by the total resistance on a path a plus one divided by the total resistance on the other path so if you have three path like you're gonna see on the circuit we're going to do you will also add uh, the resistance on that path too i think now our definitions are well defined and we can analyze electric circuits right so let's look at the left hand side let's look at the circuit here so the first step you do you determine the positive and the negative terminal right so in this circuit here for 11.1 this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal the current flows from positive to negative right so it's going to flow in this manner there we go 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 and there we go are uh, we assuming that this switch is closed right so the question now is is the 8 ohm resistor in series clearly it is experiencing i total so it is in series is the resistor x in series is experiencing i total so it is in series if you want to calculate the total resistance for this circuit you're gonna say uh, rt is equals to rs plus rp but there's no resistance in parallel right so rp is going to be close to zero so we're gonna get rt is equals to uh, rs plus zero basically uh, but we know rs we're talking about the resistance in series right and then for the resistance in series you just simply add the individual resistors so we're gonna have uh, the 8 ohm uh, plus x being our resistance in series right that's how we you would analyze that circuit but then it's pretty much straightforward let's move to the next one and see what happens so let's move to this one here again first step let's identify the positive and the negative terminal right so here we have the positive and then here we have the negative uh, assuming that the switch is closed the current is gonna flow there goes our current there goes our current and then keeps going and then here at this point the current splits right so a proportion of the current uh, goes down this road and then a proportion of the current 
goes up that road so clearly uh this resistance in this path is in parallel with the resistance in this path right because since the current is splitted neither of the two paths are experiencing i total right so they're in parallel with each other so if you want to calculate uh, that effective resistance in parallel we're gonna say one divided by rp is equals to one divided by r on uh, path one right uh, plus one divided by r on path two so let's look at path one on path one we have the 12 ohm and the 8 ohm right so that will be 1 divided by rp being equals to 1 divided by 12 plus 8 and then plus r on path 2 but then on path 2 you can see here that the 16 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor right so separately you have to calculate uh, the effective resistance of that two and then after you've calculated the effective resistance of that two you can put it back in the equation to find that resistance so what we can do uh, we can put it on the side and say that uh, 1 divided by rp will be close to 1 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 4 right so rp is going to be uh, 1 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 4 to the negative 1 all right so that's the effective resistance on this path now we can put it back in our equation and say uh, 1 divided by uh, 1 divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 4 to the minus 1 so here rp is actually going to be equals to 2.76 ohms right uh, that's how you would analyze the second so let's move to the next one and here we are let's look at our circuit right again we're identifying the positive and the negative right so maybe what you want to do you'd want to pause the video and do it yourself and see if you can calculate uh, the effective total resistance right um, assuming that you did that we have the positive here and then here we have the negative so the current is going to flow uh, in this manner right uh, if you're in grade 11 uh, just forget about this just just ignore it right um yeah it doesn't uh, we're assuming that the switch is closed uh that doesn't uh serve our purpose on this video so let's just yeah keep going so in this part here the current is going to split right so a proportion of the current is gonna go down this way and then a proportion of the current is actually going to go down uh this way right so here already we can see that the 6 ohm resistor is not going to experience i total right so it is in parallel to something it's in parallel to this uh, 6 ohm resistor uh, but then not only is it parallel to that 6 ohm resistor it's actually in parallel to the 6 ohm and the 2.4 ohm resistor because this 2.4 ohm resistor is on the same path with the 6 ohm resistor right it's not individual resistors being parallel to each other it's actually the paths that are parallel to each other that's why we see that one divided by r on path one plus one divided by r on path two right uh, so before we go any further if we'd want to calculate the total uh, the resistance in parallel we would say one divided by rp is equals to you know what it says one divided by r on path one plus one divided by r on path two so here on path one we have one divided by the six ohm here right on the second path we have this 2.4 ohm and this six ohm so we're going to have uh 2.4 uh plus six right uh so rp is going to be uh one divided by six plus one divided by 8.4 to the minus one right uh, but then you can see that at this point here uh the current uh quote unquote joins right so this resistor x here it experiences i total based on the definitions we are proposing it is in series relative to the circuit because it is experiencing i total so here's our circuit diagram here again this is the positive terminal this is the negative so the current is flowing anti-clockwise right uh here we have a voltmeter right a voltmeter has very high resistance so the current doesn't go there at all right so the current just keeps on flowing uh past the voltmeter right but then at this point uh we have a resistor here 
so the current is going to split right a proportion of the current is going to go down on this path and then another proportion of the current will go down on this path but then at this point here the current rejoins right and then this armature a here is going to read i total so now you can see that we have two resistor uh, r right uh, let's say this is r1 and uh, this is r2 for the sake of clarity so r1 and r2 are in parallel to each other uh, they're not experiencing i total and they're on different paths so if we want to calculate the total uh, resistance in parallel for this second would say one divided by mp is equals to one divided by r1 plus one divided by r2 right uh, there's so many electric circuits i cannot do all of them uh, but i think i've done close to 10 12 questions on electric circuits past exam questions uh, so if you want to check that out there's a playlist on the channel